Hi, good morning. Welcome to our channel. Today, uh, I'm trying to share some infos on how are we going to do alignment. Uh, practically, I think most of the uh, users has been facing the similar problem about not getting a true circle or a square or stuff like if you want to cut something, practically um, they are not true and they are missing parts out or uh, they will come like they come like double line okay so they are basically very narrow at a certain point and it's very wide on another side of it and majority of it uh, i've been facing the same issues uh, for the last couple of days uh, this is a very good example of um, the image i'm trying to uh, do where you can be able to see the alignment are so off right and for example the circles are really either they are oblong or they are kind of a shape of an egg right so like for example the squares okay the squares are not true squares okay the the lines are slanted for example things like that and they maybe have circles where it is not joined so these are the very common issues that i have been uh, facing with my unit and i have been trying to find a solution on how to actually solve uh, the issue so after trying and doing the tension of the bell and stuff like that um, Finally, I managed to get it right, okay? Uh, first of all, um, I guess a lot of uh, uh, experts will actually tell you it's, it's going to be the tension of the, uh, the either the, from the left and the right side, okay? They are both sides of the, uh, the, the tensions, all right? Or the x-axis um, belt, all right? So, what actually I have done, okay, I have done every single thing, okay, whatever been mentioned about uh, tightening the tension belt and stuff, and uh, I still cannot be able to get it right. For example, I may be able to get a true x-axis um, 10 mm or 20 mm, but on the vertical y-axis, it's always short of maybe uh, 2 2 mm or stuff like that so that is the issues that i've been facing for the last couple of days so at the end of the day um one of the tips will be where there is the coupling down here all right this is the coupling all right these two screws you'll be able to actually unscrew it using your your tools which being supplied by X2 alright and you unscrew this and you actually align this and we tighten it okay that actually solves most of the problem but the problem still exists where the uh, the true circles cannot be able to achieve so what have I done to really get it right it will be to actually make sure that your unit is a true square, right? So you need to measure from two ends. It means uh, from, okay, this is what I mean earlier. So you need to get a measuring tape. You need to actually measure from diagonal, okay, and to another end. So you actually measure both sides, all right? So the actually my issue was one of the screws that I actually I over tighten it. So once I over tighten it, maybe a slight, it might be able to off uh, one mm, a very very minimal. So actually that what caused is the whole alignment issue. So the the uh, x axis coupling, right? The x axis coupling down here okay that actually solved the the issue on the um, x-axis but my problem actually uh, persists on the y-axis so at the end i found out that i over tightened 
the the screws down here all right this couple of screws so i managed to unscrew all the screws and re i, I would say it's reinstall the whole unit back so after when you reinstall and then you measure all the other sides then um, at the end when i did the squares and circles i am very happy and i at the end of the day i managed to get the the true circle and the the right squares all right so that is what i actually um, solve my unit of the alignment by using the few steps down here right so another thing where just to make sure that your belts are not overly tightened will be you actually tilted about 45 degrees all right and it will actually slowly roll it down all right so that is actually how to make sure your belt is not overly uh, tightened or loose all right I hope you actually enjoy and uh, learn something from uh, the sharing session today. Okay, thank you and see you again.